Good morning, North Street. Today is February 16th, 2024. My name is Nola. And I'm Colin. It is a day two. The vision for North Street School is to prepare students for today and tomorrow by creating more hands-on learning experiences. By respecting others' differences, we can create a better school and community for all people. Today for lunch, you will have the choices of pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, gold fish basket, and salad shaker with a roll. Our next edition of NSS Black History Month community chat features our superintendent, Bo Wright, and his father. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to our NSS Black History Month community chat. Our guest today is Superintendent Bo Wright and his father, Ed Wright. Can you both tell our viewers a little about yourself? Mr. Ed Wright, can you go first, please? Yes, uh, I am from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I came up here to be a teacher, and I uh, was a Lock Haven University graduate. I taught uh, here sixth grade, fifth grade, uh, middle school, and I was assistant principal for the middle school and also assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction. And what about you? Hi everybody. Um, so I actually grew up here. I have two sisters and one brother and uh, we all <laughs> were graduates of Geneva High School. Uh, my wife also is a, is a graduate from Geneva High. Um, we have two children. I have one daughter that's 14 and then I have another daughter that is 18. Um, and uh, so I currently serve as a superintendent of schools but I also have served as assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction so my father and I uh, held the, the same position at different points in time. Mr. Ed Wright, when you worked for the Geneva City School District, which job position was the most rewarding? You know what, I have to say, and this may sound crazy, I loved teaching. I loved being with the kids. I loved getting to know parents. I loved to see them be successful as they went through the whole process of school and I thought it was very rewarding. Much, much more than being assistant superintendent and principal. Okay, and what about you? Um, so, do you want me to answer just based on my positions here or do you want me to look at all the positions that I've held? Because I also was a classroom teacher and a principal at a certain point. Positions all the positions. I really enjoyed, I, I was a classroom teacher in Lyons, New York, and I really, I also taught sixth grade. Um, a lot of similarities actually between our, our career paths. I also went to Lock Haven University uh, as, as well. So we did a lot of the same things, but I liked being in the classroom a lot. I was a principal in New York City in the Bronx, and that might have been my favorite position because um, I loved being in charge of a school and I loved still maintaining that connection with kids and families. Although I, I, I still, you know, I, I really enjoy being a superintendent too. It's nice to be back. It's been a lot of fun. This is the first time that a father and his son held the same, pos same job position in our school district. Bo, what was your dad's reaction when you applied for the same superintendent's job? Well, every, every position that I've uh, ever held before I accepted it, I think we've had a conversation around it. So um, when I was considering coming back to Geneva, that was a conversation that I first had with my wife, but then the next conversation was with him. And uh, we were both really excited to, to have this opportunity. Like I said, I... I I feel like it's a special opportunity and it's been a lot of fun being back. Who were your role models when you were growing up or now as an adult? Um, I would have to say I, I lived in Roanoke, Virginia for four, four years and my uncle, I lived with him, he was a paraplegic and I watched him do so many things that I wouldn't even imagine that you could do in a wheelchair. He drove his own car, he uh, 
fished, he hunted, he did all kind of things. And when I stayed with him, he made sure that I understood the value and the importance of an education. And that got me going right on the right trajectory to want to be a teacher. So by the time I was in 10th grade, because of all the things that I did with him, I said, I'm going to be a teacher. And so I knew in 10th grade when, that I would go to college to do that. And I didn't change. Uh, my parents uh, had the most impact on me as, as role models. Um, you know, I wanted to be a teacher because of them. Uh, as as people, I tried to, to model myself as, as they did in terms of being kind and, and caring and, and uh, empathetic toward others, um, being helpful toward others. You know, they were they were um, the types of people that, that always wanted to do things for others. And, and as a child, I saw that and, and wanted to uh, do the same things. So they had the biggest impact on, on me growing up, for sure. If there was one thing you could change in the world, what would it be? You know, that's kind of a difficult, difficult question, but I think I would want to change the, the degree of poverty and need that we have in our country today. Uh, it, it impacts kids at school, it impacts education, it impacts what happens in other people's lives. I wish there was some way that we could come up with a solution and have jobs and opportunities for people to break the cycle of poverty. I think that's very well put and I think as, as educators that's something that we're always uh, striving to support is, is uh, opportunity for all students and, and, and all people. So that certainly is something that I, I would support too. But I also would say, um, if, if there's something that I could change in the world, it would be centered around world peace. Um, because uh, we are a, a world in conflict right now. And um, if we were able to reach peaceful solutions for some of these conflicts, I think the world would be a much better place. Do you think education was better in the past or now? I, well, I, I also do some coaching at, uh, I coach administrators at uh, East High School in Rochester for the University of Rochester. And I see, I think it's much more difficult for students today. They, they seem to have much more stress than uh, we had when I was teaching. And I think it's harder in, in some senses because their lives are harder. And so I would say education is more difficult today because with the, the things that kids bring uh, to school. But we do our best to try to support them and we have way more programs available to them than we had when we were teaching. So. Uh, that's the way I kind of see the give and the take of all these things. Yeah, I, I would I would say in in some ways it it may have been uh, better in the past, but I also think there are a lot there are a lot of things that are are much better in in today's schools. Um, some of the opportunities that that you all have, and and some of the the educational tools that uh, you guys have related to technology. I think education in general, I think we have a much better awareness and much more of a focus on uh, education being student-centered. So do, I think we do a better job now of giving you all uh, what you need. You know, I mentioned technology. I think that uh, technology presents a, a host of opportunities and access to the world. Um, those are things that we didn't have when when I was in school. Certainly, when my dad we didn't was have in cell school. Cell phones for sure. Um, 
but I also think with that, with those opportunities, some kind, sometimes comes a, a lot of different challenges, especially related to technology with, you know, things, dig, digital citizenship and some of the threats that come with, with technology. Those are the things that, that we have to manage uh, as time goes on. Last question from one of our teachers here at NSS. Mr. Stone is a big fan of chicken wings and would like to know, would you prefer flats or drum? That's an easy one. <laughs> flats for me. Well, I, I like the drums, I hate to say. I do, because they're juicier and whatever. I'm a drum man. My wife is a flat girl. She likes the flats. So when I go out to buy them, I got to get a dozen, six and six. She won't eat the drums. <laughs> That's all for today. Bye. Bye. <laughs>